So here we are in, uh, in this week uh, in Glasgow, COP26, and uh, all the environmental stuff they're coming out with there, which is really interesting. But of course, in Birmingham, we have the Eco Village at Soltex. So really great initiative by the GMA, I think, to bring focus to the environment and the products that are available to you as groundsmen and grounds managers, uh, because we've got some serious work to do. So the, our Prime Minister, Boris, is telling us that we are at one minute to midnight and that there is a great level of urgency. And we are committing and signing agreements that we're going to be reducing our carbon footprint as a country by 50% by 2030. So I've got a question for you to start with, is what are you doing within your businesses to be cutting your carbon emissions by 50% in the next nine years? And if you can't answer that question, then you need to spend the next uh, three or four hours at this show actually trying to work out what it is that you are going to do. The switch from fossil fuels, we have to stop burning fossil fuels, and we have to be switching to alternative technologies. Battery is one, hydrogen is another. But you have to be changing the way that you're operating within your work and your business away from burning fossil fuels. And there are some great alternatives here. So that's my challenge to you, to be thinking very carefully about that. And by next year, you should be able to answer the question, how you're going to be reducing your carbon footprint by half by 2030. Hello, my name's Austin Jarrett and I'm from Alec Mowers. I'm the Managing Director and I have here Steve Copnell, who is our product specialist and looks after all of these products. Today, we're going to be talking ever so briefly about battery power uh, and what that should mean to you and why you should be moving towards battery power. And we also have a really special launch today of a brand new product launched today. Uh, and of course, predictably, it's battery powered. The Alec company is based just, it took me 50 minutes to get in here uh, this morning from the north. We're based up at Stafford and we manufacture all of these products here in the UK. So we appreciate any support we can get. We are also the holders, current holders of the Queen's Award for Enterprise for International Trade. 50% of everything we make in our factory in Stafford is exported to the rest of the world and the Queen uh, gave us this to thank us for contributing towards the balance, balance of trade. We really appreciate that. The business, the brand has been going since 1965 and this is Red Jallet, who, after whom the, the company is named, uh, on one of the very first mowers. And today we are manufacturing a whole range of products, both fossil burning and also battery electric. Why are we spending all our money on developing battery uh, power? There are loads of environmental benefits of not burning fossil fuels. I'm absolutely certain that you're aware of at least 90% of those reasons. Pollution in the workplace is, is also something that we don't hear an awful lot about. Hand-arm vibration of our machines. Uh, better machine control. As manufacturers, we're able to give you machines that are much easier to control. Reduce noise fuel management and reduced operating costs. As a business, Alice Mowers are really committed to sustainability, both in the way that we work, but also the research and development that we're doing to give you products that are more environmentally friendly so that you can drive down your carbon footprint. And we are predicting that by 2025, that it's unlikely we're gonna be making any petrol powered products not because that's what we've decided we're going to do. We think you will stop wanting them and you will stop buying them because battery power is something that is much nicer to use and has all the benefits that we've been talking about. So we think it's going to happen that quickly now. Today, 50% of our sales are battery electric and 85% of our demonstration requests for uh, professional mowers on football pitches is for battery electric. So we're really seeing a movement towards that now. So it's all about this emissions of point of view. So, okay, so I, so I don't have an engine anymore where I'm using it, but I, I quite like this cartoon where the guy's driving along in his dirty diesel car saying, I feel so dirty. 
So what happens? He goes out and he buys his Tesla and he feels so clean. But of course, he's got this cable that goes to a power station that's pumping out loads of dirty coal fueled uh, uh, electricity. And I, I believe that now is a really cynical point of view because if you look at this graph, I have, this is the only graph I've got. If you look at this graph, the red line since 1980 to 2020, you can see the fossil burning electricity generation that's been occurring. It is reducing. More importantly, the green line you can see that's been rising since 2000. This country has done an amazing job at switching towards renewable energies to power uh, our, to drive our power stations. Therefore, our electricity, it, a lot of our electricity is not contributing towards our carbon footprint. So by switching to electric power and charging batteries up from the grid, and especially if you choose to finance a company that produces electricity renewably, then you do not have a carbon footprint and that previous cartoon is just not valid. The other thing about petrol engines is, is to do with PM 2.5. That's particulate matter 2.5. 2.5 stands for 2.5 microns. 2.5 microns roughly is a, is a particle which is about 1 20th of the thickness of a, of a human hair. And these particles are created in exhaust fumes of all, of all internal combustion engines, uh, particularly our mowers and particularly our two-stroke products that we're using. Uh, and, and they do damage to your body. They get into your body and they stay there. Hand arm vibration, uh, vibration white finger is, is a really nasty thing to have and it is mainly driven by the products that we as an industry are generally using and we do need to be really careful of this. There's a lot of legislation over the last 20 years that's come in that really restricts us as manufacturers and you as users as the products that you can use. And, and here, of course, at Honda, who we know and love as a manufacturer of really good, reliable engines, but, you know, they take maintenance. We've got oil, we've got fuel, we've got to keep the fuel clean, we've got to keep the air filters sorted out. Is it going to start in the morning? And all the other stuff that goes around, uh, around fuel. And even the behemoth uh, Honda are working on now electric power units that bolt on the same bolt holes and the same crankshaft. And actually on our stand, you can see one of our standard petrol mowers, which has this electric engine, let's call it, uh, on it. Have a look at it. It's really interesting. And if you've got products that you don't want to go replace, that there is the opportunities now to be replacing it with an electric engine. Our stand, incidentally, is just carry on down this path and we're right at the far end of the hall, uh, exactly where you are right now. Petrol management, yeah. You know, we've got used to it and uh, what's it? we've got to go down to the petrol station. We've got to sort petty cash out for our employees. There's always the risk of pilferage. It's going to sp spill in the van. If you're a volunteer organization, who's going to go and get the fuel? All, all those types of things, of course, that just disappears. And if you are unconvinced by the whole electric thing, I, I try and switch it around. And if you had been using battery electric products for the last 20, 30 years of your working career, and I came along and said, the engine is the future, you've got to use it and you, oh, you've got to go and get petrol and you've got to do this, you've got to do that. I tell you what, it would be a much more difficult job to convince you to switch to petrol if you've been using battery all your life. The things that you need to just knock off now are just things that are going in your head and it is just, uh, you're just coming up with excuses and reasons not to change, rather than reasons not to change. Electric drive as well. Uh, electric drive is um, uh, electric drive just makes for a much smoother machine altogether, as well as the noise. And us as machinery designers could start to really put in some features into the product that make it so much easier and safer to use. The running cost as well. We're going to see a product here that has a five amp hour, fifty six volt battery, and the. The charging cost on that, if you're paying 16 pence a kilowatt hour, which is a pretty reasonable cost in this country at the moment, um, you'll be talking about 5p a charge. And this mower will mow 800 square meters uh, of, uh, of lawn or sports field in one discharge. Uh, that would be costing you upward of 80p with, uh, with, with petrol. 
We do have one elephant in the room as far as electric, uh, as long as, as far as batteries concerned, and I think it's really important that we confront these things, and that is to do with lithium iron. Lithium iron batteries, and we, we do need to be frank about this, these batteries contain ingredients which are quite toxic, and the mining of these raw materials, lithium, cobalt, nickel, are, are a bit of a problem. These, these uh, resources are available in generally underdeveloped countries, the miners are not very well regulated. Uh, the extraction of lithium takes tons and tons of water, and that water is dirty by the time it's finished. What do you do with it? It's deathly, it contaminates soil. And we need to get new technologies where we can extract this more safely. Uh, cobalt, cobalt, you will know, you'll have seen all the stories on, on Facebook of children working in mines in, in the Congo, which is absolutely awful but it's in an unregulated economy and we, we need to be able to put more regulation in place. And this is an emerging, an emerging industry, the extraction of all these raw materials, that we've gone from almost zero to massive quantities in a matter of 10 years, and it's probably going to quadruple in the next five to 10 years as well, the amount of these, these ingredients we need for batteries. We need to, it's imperfect, but the benefit it's going to give and the further these industries are regulated and financed properly as, they, as their businesses grow, we will find solutions to these problems. So don't let that be something that somebody Facebook uh, influences you to say that moving to battery is not a good thing. That is, that is not the fact. Um, things are moving forward really quickly now. So battery power products are becoming really our, our, our staple diet at, uh, at Alec Mowers now. And uh, this is a, a new rotary mower, which we, you will also see on our stand as well, used for collecting of debris on stands. But that's not what we're here for. I will now get round to what we're here for. Of course, I have, a, I have a commercial interest in you switching towards battery because we're making battery power products. But what I'd like to show you now is a new product that we're launching today after two years of really hard work by our engineering department and this is the Sterling product range. So Steve, would you give us the unveil? I'm sorry we couldn't organize the dry ice and I didn't bring my drum kit, but this is a really new, exciting product for us. So this is a cylinder mower that's available in 17 inches and 20 inches. We're calling them the Sterling Sterling 43 and the Sterling 51. We have a long heritage of naming our products after castles and palaces in the UK. And it's a really important part of our proposition when we're exporting because our customers abroad are after an English lawn, a really lovely striped low cut lawn. So we continue with that tradition and we've named these products after Sterling Castle in Scotland. One of the big things that we're doing with this is it's not just a precise cylinder mower. In particular, what we can do is we can just remove the cylinder and we can place in all sorts of cultivation cartridges into this product. And now this becomes a springtime scarifier, or it becomes a deeper scarifier, or a verticut, or a brush, all built into the same machine. And I can change the cartridge and the functionality of this machine over in less than 15 seconds. You can see the range of cartridges on, over there, but if you can't see that verticut, cylinder mower, we do 10 bladed cylinder as well for low cutting and bowling greens and cricket wickets, uh, scarifier, aerator, brush, and a, and a really aggressive dethatcher. So this, this machine will not necessarily do your end of season renovations, but we do believe in a little and often on the cultivations is the best thing for turf and the best thing for the players on your surfaces. ProDrive is the next thing. This machine has two electric motors. One motor drives the real drive and the other drives the rear roller. That allows us to put more power into the cylinder than we've ever done before. And although cylinder mowing doesn't take a lot of power, when we start to put the cultivation cartridges in and go deeper than we've ever done before, then that's really important to have the extra power. The second motor though is driving the rear roller. And importantly, what we're able to do is to also vary from the handlebars, even with gloves on, the forward speed of the machine. So if I'm mowing really quickly, because it's going to start raining, 
then I could do that. Um, if I'm going to be cultivating deep, then I can slow the machine right down and work the machine deeper and still fill the grass box with the uprisings. The height right system is on the side here and again because we're mowing so accurately that we've got a, a really lovely dial on the side here and you can see an indicator to millimeter accuracy on the side and that adjusts both sides. There's no adjusting side to side. Uh, you just have the one adjustment. Glide drive. Normally when you have electric drive of, uh, of the rear roller then you would expect when you get to the end and you pull the machine back that you're trying to turn the electric motor in reverse. And actually with this, we've got a really clever mechanism that allows the override of the drive of the roller. Whether I'm pushing it and I get to the end, I can take my thumbs off the drive and just push it so I don't crash into anything. And then when I get to the end, I can just pull it back. And it, the machine feels so much lighter as a result of that. And we think that's particularly important with the volunteer community that are working at cricket and also at bowls, is it keeps it really light and it's not going to tire you out even if you've got to mow a whole bowling green because it's so much easier to use. The effort is all in the turning around at the ends, not when you're just walking along behind the mower. We're working with Ego uh, with the batteries and uh, Ego are one of the most established uh, companies in the trade and there are a lot of these batteries already out there with customers. So you can buy this product from us without any battery or charger. Uh, the battery's quite an expensive part of it and use the existing batteries that you have. Or you can buy it with batteries and then, and then buy other Ego tools and put, those, uh, put that battery into those products. Really nice features. There's a lot of stay cool technology, which is really important when you're working a battery hard that it stays cool but also they've got nice battery indicator uh, in, the, in the actual end there with lights so that you can see what level of charge I've got, how many more runs have I got before the battery charge. And the way that we've inserted this battery, designed it around that battery, is while I'm mowing, I can see exactly what the charge level is. So I'm not having to put, we don't have any, we haven't added more complication to this product because we can when it's electrical. We can put TV screens on there if you want, that's not a problem, but we don't want to make the product really complicated to use. We still want the product to have all the functionality, but to be really simple to use, and we've achieved that with this product. Uh, batteries are able to be charged uh, with a standard charger. This is a five amp hour battery. I will mow 800 square meters of, uh, of lawn or sports, sports surface with this battery uh, will take 100 minutes to recharge. If I use the rapid charger, it takes only 40 minutes. I'm getting 40 minutes worth of mowing out of that. With two batteries, I I've absolutely got continuous mowing with this machine with a five amp hour battery. But with Ego, they've got a complete 56 volt platform with batteries from two and a half amp hours to four, five, seven and a half, ten, and next year they've got a 12 amp hour battery. You'll be able to mow half an acre of grass, put that grass all neatly into the grass box, uh, um, all, all in one discharge with that one battery. So that becomes, that's very, that's very useful amount of mowing out of a battery. You can also take these batteries out and you can put these batteries into other products. And for us, we talked about the nasty part of the business in terms of the cost, the, 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 the environmental cost of lithium and cobalt. For us, the big thing that we can do about that for now is to give you a battery that isn't tied to the product. You can take that battery out and you can use it in multiple products. You need less, less lithium ion that way. You get better use of the cost of the battery by using it in multiple products and you get good products out of, out of Ego, I can guarantee. So we feel that's a really good use of it. You don't need the biggest battery. That, that is not the right thing to do. Buy the appropriate size battery uh, and then use it in as many products as you possibly can to make sure that we're being as environmentally friendly as we can. You can take this battery, you can plug it straight into a zero turn. You'll see it on the, on the Ego booth just over there. Really neat product. Hedge cutters, long reach hedge cutters, chainsaws, blowers, uh, one I particularly like as well, I can take the battery, I can put it onto this inverter, I've got a three pin plug and a USB uh, port that I can either recharge my phone or I could even, if I wanted to, drive a 42 inch 
television for about eight hours from, from this battery discharging because it's given me 240 volt supply. So again, really useful, whether it's for replacing a generator in your van or whether it's when you go camping. The handlebars are really adjustable, uh, again, to give us the right position. And what I'm also able to do is to fold these right up into transport positions so they take up less room in the van or in storage. And then what I'm able to do uh, from that position is, just doing a quick cartridge change here for you. And what I'm able to do is get into the service position where tilting it back. But while the handlebars are in that storage position, the, the battery uh, is, is disconnected from any of the drives. The grass box, the grass box is a little bit unconventional as well. We've gone for mesh and wire frame. Uh, we're using batteries. We want to get the most mowing out of a battery. So we need to keep everything as light as we possibly can. And our customers are asking us for lighter grass boxes because you have to carry them all the way across the lawn, right? We've got made it out of perforated material, and that perforated material uh, allows the airflow so that the debris that is blown into the grass box, the grass clippings, and the air can be separated and we get good grass box fill. So the customers and the target markets for this. At Alec, we have a huge following of lawn enthusiasts, that private homes that want to have amazing striped lawns. And we have those customers all over the world. We have an international competition for the most creative striped lawns that you can possibly create. Um, for the first year, the Americans won the competition. But we have, if you look at our, uh, if you look at our Twitter, you look at our Facebook, you look at our Instagram or our YouTube channel, you will see customers posting some of the most amazing lawns but also this bowling green and cricket wicket market as well. Uh, the machine's capable of producing really high quality finishes at the heights of cut that you want. The machine is affordable, like a third of the cost, uh, actually even a quarter of the cost of some of my beautiful competitors' machines over here. It's not going to last as long as a really heavy duty professional product, but you know, with it being lighter like this, it just makes it so much easier to use and maybe I can keep my old volunteer mowing for a few more years if he's got a lighter machine. We also have other options of, that are coming soon as well, which will be groove front rollers and, uh, and things like that, transport wheels, just to make this product even more versatile. We have dealers all over the country. You, every one of those A's is a, is a dealer and we have service dealers and we also have showrooms. You can buy the products from any of those knowledgeable dealers and they will back you up. Or you can even go to our alec.co.uk and you can just buy this product with your credit card um, direct uh, through the website. We're here at Saltex for two days. Our booth this year is all electric. That's not to say that we don't have petrol power products, but we really are pushing and focusing on those new product launches now, which are electric. So please come along and see us. You'll also see the, the Honda replacement engine as well. Uh, we'll be absolutely delighted to see you there and we can talk to you about pricing of the product if you're interested. I've run over, haven't I? Oh, you're okay. um, would you show your appreciation please to Austin Jarrett from Alice? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Great. And uh, I'm sure if you have any questions, you can either grab it now or go to the stand. We'll be only too happy to discuss anything you want to chat about. Once again, I say thank you Great. very much. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank Thanks for being here, guys.